Andy here, and I am super pleased to announce my new plugin update for the Stream Up plugin. There are so many things that I've added to this, like, oh, we've got some swanky toolbars, we got we got stuff going on in the dock area now, and everything like that. Like, there's so many cool features in it. Multi-dock, what's that about? Who knows? Let me just give you a brief look at what I've done. We have completely changed it from the ground up, okay? So I've literally made it more efficient. So, you know, when OBS took a little bit too long to restart or, or load up because it was checking all your plugins, whether or not they're up to date, that's now more efficient because it'll kind of check once OBS is loaded so it doesn't interact with OBS anymore. Um, that was an oversight on my behalf, but don't worry. Uh, so anybody can get their hands on this because this is in early access. Just because of how much has been changed, uh, it's going to be a little bit scary for me to just release it. Um, so it's going to be for early access. Literally any tier membership of either me or Stream Up will be able to get their hands on it. So any tier, even the bottom tier. Obviously, if you really do like my content, please consider supporting more. It'll help me keep doing this stuff all the time. Um, so what we've added is when, when it first loads up now, you get a new window just here that explains all the changes and everything like that, all stream up socials, all that jazz. And as you can see, we've completely redesigned it, but not just that we created a theme as well that that's in OBS. As you can see, it looks more modern now. Uh, and anybody that's supporting us monthly uh, as well, even me, uh, andylippy.co.uk or StreamUp can get access to that theme as well. I really like the theme. I've put some a lot of love into it. I've done a video on it as well, so I'll leave that link down below. Um, and just to let you know, if you are supporting, please press this link here and it'll allow you to have your name in the credits just here as we start like integrating more and more. Do you know what I mean? Just, just do it. It's nice to be, be, be told thank you, right? Um, next up is the patch notes. This explains everything that's in the patch notes. And as you can see, there are so many things that I have added into this. So I'm actually going to leave that up to keep focused. Um, <laughs> I'll leave it to one side because there, there is so many things to talk about. So we'll talk about the settings menu first. There's still a couple of things that I'm still like tweaking and like things are subject to change, but all the UIs are different. Um, we, we've got like this CPH references. So if you're a streamer bot user, you'll know what that means. And I'll show you where that comes in a little bit. We got the stream up toolbar, which we can turn on and off. So that's the little bar now that's at the top, but we can put it on the, uh, the bottom if you want to, you can put it on the left if you want to. And as you can see, this is your bar that says start streaming, start recording, start replay buffer, um, virtual camera, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and you can configure that as well. So if I press configure, oh we can literally change exactly what this bar does. Right now, we've got the standard controls that are in uh, OBS. So you stream, record, and everything like that. And you can change the order that they're in. So you can remove them if you don't want them on there, or you can you just do whatever you want, really. It's insane. Uh, we press the stream up button, and you get access to all the stream up stuff we do. So what I can do is I'll say add 200 pixel spacer. That'll go at the bottom. Uh, and I'll add the lock sources, uh, lock sources in current scene. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll add a separator. So now we've got a separator in between them. We'll go refresh audio, refresh browser sources, and we'll add space in again, another one. And we'll add uh, activate all video capture devices, deactivate them all, and refresh them all. Uh, and press save. And now we've got this bar. Don't worry about this, like, kind of tweaking out a little bit like that. This is just a little bug that's in my current theme um, because I've changed how these are rendered. This will be fixed um, in a patch a little bit later on. Uh, in the normal themes, that won't occur. It's just the, the theme that I've made. So as you can see, now I've got access to even more buttons and we can rearrange them, like I say, and everything like that. I love the toolbar. I think it's wicked. Um... Plugin management, as always, you can see what plugins you've got, the, the links to where you got them, um, to the main thing, and it supports the StreamUp OBS theme as well. So when I do update the theme, the StreamUp plugin will remind you that you need to update the theme as well. Uh, we've got hotkeys. So all of our hotkeys, because we're getting so many different functions now, I've put all our hotkeys in their own menu. Uh, they are still in the main OBS hotkeys section, but they're also there. Um, which makes it a little bit easier so you can see which one our plugin is and it works with the OBS thing. You don't need to like mess it twice. It just is all linked together. And we've also got the dock configuration, which the dock was like the early build of the toolbar really. Um, but this 
is just this dock that you can obviously put anywhere in OBS. And we added the um, video capture device, enable them all, uh, disable them all, and also refresh. So, you know, if you, like, start OBS, but your camera's been in use somewhere else and, it like, you can't do it, or if you're, um, say, um, I was about to say Stream Deck, but that's not the one. If your capture card uh, does, like, crash or something and you need to, like, turn it off, turn it back on, but then you got to turn it off in OBS. That's what this does to make it a lot easier for you to do there. Um, so that's all the settings so far. Um, WebSocket commands, this is for all you techies out there. I've added so many cool WebSocket commands inside of um, OBS and um, like stuff like lock all the sources so you can set them up on your own things. You've got get blending method, set blending method. We've got um, a load of different things for getting show transitions, you know, things that aren't actually in WebSocket. And you can just press copy the OBS raw to get the, the, the normal um, code that you can put into whatever program you want to send an OBS command. And CPH will copy the, the CPH, you know, the custom C sharp um, just across there as well, which is awesome it's so good uh we also have i can see that there's there's a little issue with um, the locale file not loading correctly so i'm gonna take a little look at that in a little bit as well so that'll be fixed before you see this video uh we also have the theme which shows you um how to get the theme uh, if you really like it i love this i think the the audio mix is amazing and like i say it's just a, a little perk for you guys for supporting really um, so thank you everyone that's keeping me doing this. Um, moving on to the better stuff. So we've got the, the standard install product that we had before, download products, check product requirements to make sure you've got all the plugins that are required to make the stream up products work that you download. And remember, if you are supporting monthly, you get access to all of them as well. Um, we check for plugin updates. So as you can see, it'll remind you if you need updating, you can obviously run that at startup if you want. And like I say, all the UI just looks so much better now as well. Uh, and then we get on to the insane stuff. So here you can see this is the tools that you've got in the stream up dock and in the uh, config uh, the the toolbar. Um, you can just activate them here as well. So I've just offered a different way to activate it, depending on what you guys prefer. Uh, we've got the multi dock. This thing is insane. I love the multi dock. So we can create a multi dock, and I'll just call it multi dock test. And what this will do is it's one single dock, which we can put into OBS like this, but this dock allows us to put multiple docks inside of it. So if I want the scenes in there, you can see now we've got a dock within a dock. And uh, maybe I want to add the sources as well. Now we've got a dock within a dock. Um, so we've got these together and we can put that anywhere on our computer if we want to like put it somewhere, resize it, make it look where wherever we want. We can just design OBS now to be exactly the way that we want it. And a lot of you are probably thinking like, yeah, but what's the point? I mean, you, you can lock them as well, which means that you can't pull them out. So it keeps it all like lovely and static. Um, but with how many docks there are, we can still do the things like merging them together. So if I hovered this one over this one, I can still tab them together within this main dock. And you're probably still going, yeah, but why do you want to do that? Well, you guys are all recording in vertical, right? You guys are streaming in vertical. Here's an example of the vertical canvas, which I'm calling. This is just uh, one of our multi docks with the vertical scenes, vertical sources, vertical scene transitions, and the vertical canvas just there. And that is just now separate from OBS itself, which for me just helps my workflow because it means that I have like that mental separation between OBS and the vertical duck. It's like it's a whole, whole different canvas. Really handy. You can still plonk it in OBS if you want to as well. So it kind of gives you limitless possibilities for how you want to configure OBS. And like I say, all these things are still subject to change and I'm looking for other ideas, what what things you would like add into like the the uh, the toolbar and stuff like that. So please let me know. Like I say, if you want to get your hands on it nice and early because it might be a little while before it comes out publicly, go support us monthly at uh, StreamUp or on andylippy.co.uk and make sure you are subscribed so you know when the new features are dropping. And I'm doing some cool stuff with 3D printers soon for you uh, for you, for you uh, techers out there. So uh, make sure you are subscribed for that, all right? Much love. I'll see you soon. Put your rock up the stone. Oh, and if you want to see stuff early, come visit me at twitch.tv forward slash Andy all right? Much love. Put your rock in for the stone.